What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Three Fools One Brain Cell Anime Cast. It is EOG Weymouth, EOG Wrath, and EGA. Hello, hello. So how's how's everybody's anime watching been? It's been pretty great. Uh, I've been on a uh, on a binge. Uh, <laughs> I've been working all week overnight, so I've been sleeping throughout the day. But as soon as I woke up today, I watched like maybe eight different shows. And they was godly. All of it. Every last one of it was so good. <laughs> I started uh I started watching Code Geass today. Ooh. I made it well, I was only able to watch like three episodes on Crunchyroll. And then it wanted me to watch the sub, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. So I swapped over to Hulu, and I'm, I'm able to watch it there. So I watched, okay. uh, I think I'm up, like, either episode six or seven. I'm up to where he, uh, they tried to set a trap for him to catch him. I can't remember if that's episode six or seven. It might actually be episode five. Nice. What you think so far of it? It reminded me a lot of Gundam. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got them. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, the whole Code Geass, like, where he could make people do what he wants. But he's only oh, yeah. able, from what I understood, he's only able to do it, like, what, one time to them? Yes, one time. So that was interesting, and then I'm on, I watched him like talk about his dad, so his dad was the emperor, right? And he really does not like his dad, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Oh like, yeah. He wants him dead. My brother said there's two seasons of it, but there's only like season one on Hulu, so I gotta find season two somewhere once I finish yeah. it. Yeah, it's it's scattered everywhere. <laughs> Is there any movies for it? Is there any what for it? Movies. Like, have they made a movie for it yet, or no? No, I do believe there's a couple of spin-off series though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep. Watch. I'd probably end up finishing it this weekend or Monday. Cause if, nice. If I'm on, yeah, I'm like a quarter of the way through. I think there's 25 episodes in the season. So yeah, I could probably finish it. Can't wait. What about you, Zombie? Have you watch been watching anything? No, I've been rewatching Black Clover. Black Clover. Hmm. Yeah, I've been grinding that out. Letting some of my some of the newer shows build up. Um, watched uh, watched the new dubbed uh, episode of uh, um, shit. I know, I know the name of the show. Oh goodness. So so leveling. Oh, you watched the latest episode? Uh the do latest dubbed <laughs> episode. Mm, okay, gotcha. Y'all need to just hurry up and just make the switch. Because I don't read that fast. Yeah. I... And you got the rewind button. Yeah, but Fuck that's that shit. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm, I'm with Wrath on that. I'm not going to sit there and rewind and pause just to see what's going on. At that point, it's not even enjoyable. No. I accept that it's my weakness, and guess what? Animation animation community has made it in English for me. Yeah, and I'm mostly on the if I'm gonna read it, I might as well just read the manga. Like boring. Why don't y'all live a little? Because you're talking to slow readers. <laughs> <laughs> and just also having a kid does not watch make watching sub very easy either. So you. Like, look over at them for, like, two seconds, and, like, a bunch of dialogue's been said, and you look back, and you're like, 
okay, why is this person mad at them now? <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's, yeah, pretty much. So I can't get into the subs. I tried real hard with like super. And I gave up on, on that during the tournament of power. Well, yeah, I'll I'll be able so to watch good. that that fairly well. It's so good. The tournament of power. Out of all the new newer arts, I'd say that was their best. It was definitely a new twist. I like that. Wasn't the same rinse and repeat we've gotten over the years. Wait, 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 wait. what? I missed what you said. Yeah, what I said. No, uh, after I said something about super, I, I missed what uh, Rath said. You yeah, obviously missed what BJ said too, because I'm positive he said something right after you stopped and not continued after him. Oh, then I missed what BJ said then. Oh. <laughs> This guy, I tell you. What? You're used to it. <laughs> oh. Now nah, you just need to pay attention. Clean them ears out. What ears? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. oh, what else have I watched? I'm positive I was watching something else too. What was your election? I don't remember. I thought, I thought there was one more anime. Because I, I, I don't think I've been just grinding straight Black Clover, but I might have been. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to watch one thing at a time. I can't watch a hundred things. <laughs> oh, no. Let me just be quiet then. He's just not a... He's, he's just not a a fan of the anime if you can't do that if you can only do one at a time you ain't no fan yeah you gotta do a minimum of eight at least no i'll never get through enough of a of a show to be able to do that i do that with regular tv shows too like i can only watch like one series at a time guy is sounding old <laughs> I watch more Mickey Mouse than I do anything. <laughs> See, now. Th th this is where you've messed up. See, get the Mickey Mouse, throw on some anime. Child, this is your future. Mickey Mouse does not matter. <laughs> you know, what show that I started watching that, that I'm like, okay, I'm really digging this. It's a new show I picked up. Uh, Cause I made a list last uh, time we chat. I was telling you I was in the middle of making a list of like the new shows that was upcoming and stuff. I wanted to check those out. Yep. Yeah. So this one is called. Hold on. This this the fucking uh, title is a whole paragraph. Oh my God. <laughs> the the strongest tanks labyrinth raids. A tank with a rare nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine resistance skills. <laughs> Got kicked from the hero's party. Yeah. I I'm not watching that just because that name is too freaking long. <laughs> and you know what? And I try not, I try to get everything a fair chance, but but when you got ridiculous long names like that, I just be like, bro, what is y'all doing? Like, but I actually gave it a chance and I'm like, okay, uh I think episode seven just came out. I think between yesterday or today, I, I gotta catch that later. But this, uh, I think I, I binged like the six episodes. I'm like, okay, I'm really enjoying this. An, an older one that I'm looking to go back to uh, and watching is uh, is K. I don't know if either of you have seen that. Uh. -uh. It's actually it's it's a good one. It, it's it's more like it's more of a melee brawler type of anime, um, and it's got like there are these beings that are re 
Well, not beings. There's these people who are referred to as kings, and they're kings of a color. Like, you have the silver king, the gold king, the red king, the blue king, gray king, and there's green and something else, colorless. Yeah. <clears throat> and they all have these powers. Like, they, they, they have these powers, and they use these, uh, like, when they fight, like, yeah. when the bosses fight, like, this giant sword forms in the sky. It's called uh, the Sword of Democles, or at least that's the name of one of the swords. Yeah. Um, but, like, each each king, you know, has their like group. Uh, one one group is uh, kind of a group of thugs to an extent. Yeah. Um. One is a, a military militarized um organization. One of the kings just doesn't have really any followers. Um, but it's about one of the one of the kings taking place of replacing the other one of the other kings. And going through the story of how he was uh, framed for for killing this one person, starting this war between um, these fact uh, these these the other kings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a good one. Fat. <laughs> huh? I thought you were gonna say fat kings. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like oh, no. It, it it's definitely not your waifu type of anime you know it definitely it doesn't go anywhere really along those lines it's more of like action and uh uh mystery that sounds actually pretty interesting what was the name of it k just k? the letter k just k i believe it's on hulu still they took it off a of crunchy roll for some reason k i will watch k k <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely what I recommend. I've watched I've watched it about twice. It's I don't think it's a complete a, a complete series, but the episodes are at least they they'll keep you watching. I will say that. So So I saw some I can't remember if we talked about it or not, but you guys going to watch the live action of Yu Yu Hakusho? I don't know yet. Like I, I was watching a video and it showed like what the characters look like and it's like uh yeah and I, I I'm positive I heard heard some mixed reviews about it too. Is it even yeah. out yet? I don't think so because I went and looked and I, I don't remember seeing it but I could just be freaking blind it's but uh it. it's it, it, it. it's popped up quite a few times on YouTube um. And people talking about it, and it could just be off of the trailers and that, and um, the screen, the screen play, whatever the fucking it just thing's called. It's just I don't know. It looked the characters didn't look good from what I saw. Yeah, I don't know by episode by when once I start episode one if it if I would get around to watching or or if it whenever it comes out whatever how it is um like i don't know by the first episode that's what i did with one piece it, it was the first episode if that was ass i wasn't gonna watch it watch no more yeah i mean yeah. like it was a uh, wait i can get past it like the characters looking like crap as long as the story's halfway decent <laughs> and the story of yuyu hawk show is pretty good but we all know they can they can fuck it up pretty good. I'm looking at you, Dragon Ball Evolution. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, live action. I think I still need to get around to watch it. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was. I'm pretty sure. JoJo Bizarre Adventure live action. I got a. a Find out where where I can watch it at. I think I see it on. What'd you say? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, oh, it's on Peacock. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely check that. See, sometimes I just there's just some shows you just don't touch. <laughs> that yeah doesn't need to go live action. Just leave it. Leave it be. Yeah. Like I'm just, I'm kind of surprised they haven't made a lot like with. 
like how uh like big Transformers was. I was surprised they didn't make like a live action of Gundam. Mm. I think that's just more of owner rights not giving it up for that to be honest. Probably, but owners will give up the rights because the, the money. CGI added. and everything is there for it. It literally would thrive graphics wise. But like everything else that, you know, hits live action. They like to change things. That's why I was very surprised it's One Piece. They stayed so true to its its uh its original um structure. That was probably because of uh they weren't gonna give it up unless they I think, stayed close to it. <laughs> yeah, I think he uh, I think uh the writer was very hands on. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I saw that in, in an interview. It probably is true if that like if that's how it went, like if it stayed very true to like its origins. Yeah. If you haven't watched it, you should definitely watch it. Especially if you've watched One Piece. Or I at least the first uh season of One Piece. Oh yeah. I first told my buddy I actually think I think that covers the first two seasons. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. I don't know, it's so hard, man. One Piece's seasons are so freaking long. <laughs> yeah, that's why I told my buddy I uh after season one and you know, not watching it and then coming back to more than a thousand episodes. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not watching uh One Piece. Oh see, I am. I I am at the prison the uh prison break um season where they're trying to rescue Ace. Or where Luffy's trying to rescue Ace. That's where I am. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunately I know way too much that comes on, so like a lot of this is just like waiting for characters to show up for me at this point. Yeah. Because the show's been out so long. But still <clears throat> that's as far as I've made it. I think I'm maybe finally hit a third and that's a year and a half of watching. With <laughs> while watching other shit too. Better than me, because no can do. <laughs> Can't get behind it. Mm, yeah, that and then it's just, just, it's just not for me. Uh, as we like, don't get me GTA's wrong. Got a large list of uh, shows to watch. You said what I got on my list? I said, as we know, BJ's got a large list of stuff to watch, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I almost almost every day, every other day, a new episode drops, so... When I'm not working, I'm, I'm just sitting here with my uh, Cheez-Its <laughs> and my Sprite, watching some shows. See, I like to find shows that I can just sit there and, like, binge-watch it. Yeah, that's how I felt with, uh... When I binge watched the first season of Moonlight Fantasy. Yeah. I, just, I didn't like it at first. Huh? Have you explained that? Like, what's what's that one about? Moonlight Fantasy? <clears throat> uh, so, it's about uh, this teenager who was uh, summoned to another world as the hero. But, but the goddess who uh, summoned him pretty much don't like him so like gave him like all types of fucked up shit like made his face hideous to like human eyes and stuff like that make it to where he could speak any other language besides the common language that would uh suck. so huh <laughs> that would suck <laughs> yeah he like she she said i don't like you so i'm gonna just fuck your life up <laughs> so so he goes on trying to uh Find its way to survive in this new world. <laughs> that would be terrible. Like, be able to speak all languages, but can't speak the native language. Like, so even if he like went to another, like, country, he couldn't speak that language no more. Yeah. But he knew the language. Before. The, all the uncommon languages, but the, but. The normal one, but mostly everybody oh, speaks, yeah. and and then 
in human eyes, they say that he he looks hideous. So I, I I'm just waiting for them to drop an episode to, let's say someone happens to make a one uh, post of him and actually draw what what he looks like in this perspective. I'm gonna have a good laugh out of that. <laughs> but uh, question is, it says human eyes. Does that mean alien eyes? He looks normal. Yeah. Oh. Is, does that actually happen? What, that they show a... They... Like an alien shows up and sees him as normal? No, it's like... Like, I wouldn't say aliens. It's like different creatures and stuff. Like um... orcs, uh... Kobolds, uh... And some in that sense. Only, only two humans. He looked hideous. If you want a good laugh, I, this this is a good one. I think season two is is in the middle of airing. Yeah. So it's Moonlight Fantasy. It it's the full name is Sukimichi Moonlit Fantasy. All right, I'm sure I could find it just looking that up. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Right. I just now I'm gonna take us in a completely different anime direction. If you guys don't mind. What you got? So, did you guys watch back in the day Trigun? Yes. yes. I can't remember much about it, but yeah. See, I I love that show. That was one of the good ones back in the day. Not 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 top tier, but it was good. <clears throat> All right, so I take it. Well, I'm pretty sure I already know way missed answer on this, but. Avery, have you yeah. seen Trigun, Trigun Stampede yet? Trigun? Isn't that the uh, the reboot? Yes. You know what? I've been meaning to have it in my queue list because I've been hearing great things about it. See, it, it was good. It it's not it 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 follows. Let's say it, it follows the storyline start and end, yeah. like the original. But everything else is different. Like, um, you know how there was two girls in in the original. Yeah. Well, now it's a girl and a guy, an older guy, an older guy. Yeah. Um, and you know the events, the events are different. Like it doesn't follow. Like it doesn't. It. It doesn't follow. Like. The events that happened in the first one, so it's like it's a, it's like its own new show, but you know, Bash is still Bash. You know what I mean? And uh, his brother's still a freaking maniacal asshole. Definitely yeah. worth watching. I enjoyed it. Um, it actually, actually, after watching uh, Stampede, I went back and watched the original Trigun. So, it's another good one to add. Especially for you, Mike, if you watched the original Trigun. Nice. So... Disappeared, I guess. Gone again. I'm gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. Have you uh, checked out the daily life of an immortal king? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, I just realized that uh, season four. Season four is out, so we got a little bit to watch up on that. Hey, they don't be playing. They be dropping seasons like crazy. I know, like, I really did not think season three came out that long ago, but I guess I could be wrong. But, like, I felt like I just, just finished season three. Yeah. And then, uh, I see that they've been, uh, dropping new episodes for Blue Exorcist, too, which I have to go and, uh, check out here soon.
Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I remember watching season one, and I was like, dang, this, this is pretty good. Yeah, I felt like they did overpowered right. Like, he's overpowered and just doesn't want to use it. <laughs> yeah. Just doesn't want, doesn't want anyone to know, doesn't want to have to use it. Prefers to be a background character. Hmm. Yeah, that's man. I like I like shows like that when you have the uh, main character that's a little bit over that's you know overpowered. Another a show like that that I really enjoyed was. Uh, the um, thing, what was it? The over oh the uh, cautious hero, he's overpowered but overly cautious. Huh, I have to check that one out. I haven't I haven't checked that out yet. Oh yeah, I haven't. Man, it, it is funny. It's about this guy who uh, pretty much uh gets summoned to another world to uh, help them defeat the you know, demon king and stuff like that, but. But he he is not going out to battle unless he know he can beat the enemy one hundred and ten percent. So he stays locked up in his room, working out, leveling up, and stuff all day. And then when he's ready, you know he's ready. So it's just, it is. He's just grinding huh? all day long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great story. Like it, I highly recommend it. Up his yeah. legs. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I need a good RPG to play. <laughs> well, I, think, uh, I, I have to agree with that. Devs don't make them the same no more. Yeah. Well, make make a make your life into an RPG. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab a punch and punch and squirrel. Start, start punching people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I gotta start small. I gotta, I gotta go with squirrels, then bunnies, then work my way up. <laughs> bunnies, <laughs> you know, then grab the uh, the drops and sell it at my local uh, merchants. And put all your points in the charisma. <laughs> yeah. Then he's gonna go knock out bears in one punch. You already know. Be one punch man. <laughs> Wait, I gotta shave my head first. <laughs> uh, I would look terrible if I shaved my head bald. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I look like uh, Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. No, I ain't that muscly though, so I'd look worse. <laughs> Be a skinny Mr. Clean. Man. <laughs> that and he's got pearly white teeth. I ain't got pearly whites. Oh no. <laughs> oh. But all this anime talk, y'all know what I'm gonna do probably tomorrow. Maybe next week. I might push it back. Go get me some uh ramen. Made the authentic way. Oh snap! Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is uh. Yeah, I thought he was. You were talking about the microwave package. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, joint, uh, like a few cities away from me. Oh my! It's so good. They make it in front of you, and everything. <laughs> I remember when I went uh, with my moderator Sin. Are you going to eat it like Goku would and just shovel it down your throat? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I got to save it each bite. I got to... I remember me and my buddies and... And let's just say it was a... Uh, it was a, a good paycheck week and it was a free check. <laughs> so I bought my ramen. I had the... Uh, what's it called? Tapor? Yeah. I had the whole shebang bang. <laughs> and 
you know those animes when they eat like so much and their stomach's like three times its size? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I don't think I could eat that much. It's so good. <laughs> Look, I have a mouth watering just thinking about it. You're like, I wish I could just go there now. <laughs> oh, I want to. <laughs> oh, it's eight. Damn, it's eight o'clock my time. They about to. Isn't I think they're a, close. I th- yeah. Isn't there a restaurant that's like? It's like dedicated to like anime, ain't it? I can't freaking. Remember. I remember seeing a video about it, but I'm pretty sure it's like. All dedicated to just like all anime. If it's the same one I saw, they have like mangas you can read and stuff too. Uh, probably. And they had like some cutouts of like certain characters and people like yeah. dressed up as the characters too, but I can't remember. So I'm actually thinking the real thing. I didn't just make that up in my head. <laughs> no, because I did see some floating around Facebook a few years ago. <laughs> That's why I was like, hmm. That'd be pretty cool. I, th- I think it's in some random place. It's not like, I don't think it's in like Japan or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a couple of states away. I, I remember seeing it because I was like, ooh, I kind of want to go. But <laughs> At that point, you might as well just go to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me and my buddies, uh, we, we are, that is... Um, you're planning and to go I, to Japan. Yeah, uh, 2026. That makes me sad. Because <laughs> that is like way, the I, one, one place I've always wanted to go is to Japan. Oh, don't worry. I'll take pictures, live stream, bring y'all souvenirs. I mean, it's not even just like the anime and the gaming we'll like, side time. of it. That I, I just think Japan's cool. Yeah, I'll bring y'all with. I'll just put y'all in the luggage. Really? A stowaway. <laughs> Man, you sound like I'm not going. <laughs> you said what? You sound like I'm not going. Oh, shit. Come on, the more the merrier. <laughs> Ain't it, like, relatively that cheap that to actually go to Japan, it. though? Like, it's not yeah, like, I... super expensive. And you know what? On TikTok, it gives you, like, the best guide on exactly how much you should bring. Uh, the tourist spots, the hotels, uh, in a you know, in the best places to go, and like it, I, I'm like damn, I'm like TikTok is way too advanced for its own good. Like it gives you a whole breakdown of all of that. You can like set up like a uh, schedule to do this and that at this time, and like have the most fun and not be you know, oh what should we do next? Oh what should we do next? And you know waste time like that. Yeah. Yeah, so if you ever try to plan a uh, trip, TikTok's your best friend. I just want to go to Japan. I've wanted to go there forever. I think somebody told me they... It was either like 7000 It was between like seven and $2,000 he needed to like go to Japan and back. And like spend time in Japan. But that was just... Sound- to, like... Yeah, sounds about right. Anyone want to buy a child? No. I don't want to buy a child. Can they... You know what? We can trade. I will take yours, you take mine. No. Can they... (laughs) Negative. Can they make... Can they make pal spears? (laughs) No. You're not allowed to put them to work. Damn, never mind. (laughs) You're... You're just supposed to listen to them yell at you, I hate you, throw things at you, always get the last word. Yeah, well... Oh, that's... If so that's the case... So that's just hanging out with me on a regular basis, then? No. <laughs> it's not. See, you, I can completely ignore. Them, I have to feed, bathe, clothe, put a ceiling over their head, make sure they're still breathing. You know, it, it was just nice when they stayed in one little spot or just didn't talk. Noises were okay. 
I love this my kids very much. If anyone's made it this far, I love my kids very much. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're ending the episode. Click. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I canceled. tell you. I, I See, I don't think I'm be able to go going to be able to go to uh, Japan in 2026. I do plan to go within the next six years. But uh, when I go, I am Can I hide leaving them with the grandparents. <laughs> I'm taking the wife. We are going. <laughs> you just, just got to put me in luggage and I'll go off on my own. <laughs> and I'll be back in the luggage by the time you leave. You know what? <laughs> When I actually start putting this plan into motion, I'll hit y'all up. Be like, yo, Get here's what you gotta do if you wanna go. <laughs> we gotta make 5,000 of the palace fairs. And we are not taking him because that's just a freaking crime. I honestly, I I just feel bad. I really don't have an anime to talk about this week like that. Hey, it's okay. It happens. Come on, someone's gotta have something. Then we gotta have something. Hmm? Uh, I know in about no next week actually. Uh, uh, Demon Slayer coming to theaters. Well, did we ever find out more on that? If uh. It's most likely it's going to be what they did last time. It, it might be two episodes of the last season, the last two episodes, and then the episode of the new one episode of the new season. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Not. I mean, I don't mind this. Oh, because... I don't want to go to the theater to watch something I've already watched. Yeah, Why? but <laughs> it's, uh, it, the last forty-five minutes is probably be worth it because you get to see the uh, first episode of the new season you know i should just rewatch the show with the with one of my kids see if i get one of them hooked into it and hmm. there'll be my excuse to, to go and see it in theaters and i tell you when i do and i come back and it's the same shit i am going to rant up a damn storm i will have content for everybody <laughs> i will start you all will be hooked and I'll just repeat the same shit over and over and over again. What pissed me off about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what a future episode's gonna be like. Uh. Oh, I saw an article. Like, I, I didn't click on it, but because it was definitely like a clickbait article, and it was like yeah. an article that was trying to like. It was like the difference between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Z Kai. I'm like, I don't even have to click on the article to know the difference. The difference yeah. literally is its translation is more correct. Uh, less filler. Yeah, less filler and more maybe action. like updated like music, but th it's like, why? Like, why are you making this article? This is like, it was a new article. It wasn't even old. Yeah. It wasn't like when Dragon Ball Z Kai came out. <laughs> Which was like... Fuck. Quite right, a while so that, So that's, that, that's an article that triggers you. The things that trigger me are... How long will this anime last versus this anime? Why is that in? Because an everyone though. freaking power scaling is stupid. Like, so one was One Punch Man. Yeah. They were saying, Go, uh, Dr Dragon Ball Z, Goku, or whatever, would last like 30 minutes. God, no. Demon Slayer would last, uh, a minute. Um. Oh, like in a fight? Yeah. Well, if you're we're going Goku now, like doesn't he have like master ultra instinct? So 
Yeah, and we could go, we can go freaking Super Saiyan Goku. Most of these characters don't have power skills like that. Uh, I think there's Demon an argument. Slayer doesn't. There's Demon an Slayer argument though, I think, for like One Punch that. Man, though, like, with Goku and, like, Super Saiyan. I think there is an argument there. I just... There's a bunch of arguments there, but the thing is, is... But Ultra Instinct Goku, the, it's, like, the, no... The power skills are it's too over. different. Like, you got humans... Alright, we go One Punch Man. You got humans, which are humans. Either mutation... Bioengineering, whatever, they're still human. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, you're dealing with freaking aliens. Now, like, the last boss of the first season for, for One Punch Man, I felt that was right. You know, this super powerful being, because that's what the anime genre has made creatures from space for the most part. They are stronger than humans, blah, 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 everything else. You know, you got freaking Invincible, same thing, you know. You can go old, mid-age, new-age anime. It's going to be the same. One Punch Man scaling is on a human-enhanced scaling, yeah. but still human. Versus Dragon Ball Z, that is, they brought in divinity. If you're going to tell me a basic human... You see what I mean? Like, I hate... And, and like... <clears throat> Demon Slayer. There's no... There's, there's no power. It's just a technique. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think Damn, so. you all need to start saying something. Yeah, I... I, uh... Yeah, no, I don't disagree. But, like, there is an argument with One Punch Man and Super Saiyan, but Goku now, there's no argument. Like, there's almost an argument where Goku could revisit the fight with, like, Superman. With Master Ultra Instinct. Here's my argument. These, these those probably still gonna be the same. Here's my argument. Because uh, Goku's... Yamcha would whoop Saitama's ass. Or at least, it would be a good fight. Krillin would definitely... And TN would definitely whoop Saitama's well, ass. Krillin would because of Destructo Disc. <laughs> yeah, Krillin would definitely win just because of Destructo Disc. Like, it it cut off Freeze's tail. Like, <laughs> can't compare them. Power scalings are different. Yeah. I mean, you can to an extent. Can't. But... The power scaling is still different. Yeah, but you're going with the humans on Earth uh, in Dragon Ball Z. So that's. that's yeah, that's humans. Can throw that and still. I still argue that Tien's not a human. <laughs> Man, why does. No. It, it's just. He's... He gets done wrong, I think. His third eye, I understand what it is. It's the the third eye. But, uh... Tien gets done so wrong, I think. Like, he never gets done justice. Like, the amount of effort he puts in. With his character. He should definitely be a stronger character than what he is. Like in tournament he of power, is. yeah, but in like, tournament of power, didn't he get eliminated before Krillin? Well, yeah, but we all, but obviously everyone hypes up Krillin more than Tien. Yeah, but I don't know. Tien's and, a character that I've always liked. Kind of babysat Krillin too. Oh, eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, you get a point there, but I could be wrong. But then maybe, again, maybe Krillin, Krillin also has more experience, first. too, though. Than Tien? Yeah. You gotta remember, Krillin went to Namek. That yeah. shit got real. Well, I guess... Wait, did, yeah, he got blew Tien, up. But didn't Tien, Tien go to... Tien didn't fight anyone that strong until the Cell Saga. 
But didn't Tien go to King Kai's planet, or was that just an anime thing? I'm pretty sure he went there in the manga, too. And, yeah. So... But he was on King Kai's planet. Now, he did fight the Ginyu Force. That was anime filler. That never was that anime had... filler? That's yeah. not manga? Yeah, that, that, that I don't know. Yeah, that oh. never happened. Oh, well. But, well, uh... damn. Tien doesn't, well, get, Tien doesn't get the justice he deserves. I don't know. You just literally took the one good thing I was going to say away. <laughs> that he defeated the Ginyu Force. <laughs> but yeah, no. It... But he did. I will say this. He did outshine um, Krillin in the Cell Saga. Yeah, because he... Um, he with Tri Beam, but... You know, definitely but... did more damage than... Than Krillin did. Yeah, but Chan was also putting his life essence in every one of those hits. Hey, it was his <laughs> own technique. Doesn't matter what he was using, it was his <laughs> technique. He outshined. <laughs> See, look at this dude was trying to get trying to say he gets put down, and this man is putting him down himself. I'm not putting him down, but he just is Man, you like... just You keep coming up with a negative every time I give him props. Well, no, I was just saying, like, he put his life essence into it. Yes. And he still didn't die. He, like, he was supposed to die. Because? He put his life essence into every shot, and he hit him. Well, like, why didn't he die? Why didn't he die? Because he's a freaking goat. Because Goku came and saved his and Piccolo's ass. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah, well, he did, but, uh... Tien collapsed after that. Yeah, and the only reason why Tien was still alive was because he had a sense of being after Goku went and took him back to the hideout. Yeah, but Goku knew to come and get him. Or look out. Because Goku was sitting there watching. So Goku knew what was going on. That Goku was going to come in and get him. He wasn't just going to let him die. I, I'm crazy. confused on what we're arguing on. I don't you know. Just... I'm just... I'm just saying that like, Goku wasn't just gonna let him die. Well, it depends on what version you watch. Yes. I just I don't uh, think they gave. I, I don't know. I like the the cell fight on a bridge. I felt was more comical. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll make the triangles and the squares. <laughs> triangles and the squares. <laughs> And all the squares making a circle. And that one's still green. <laughs> you know, it's so I almost, I just took a drink as you said that, and I almost spit it out because I literally watched like a clip of that today. Of <laughs> all these squares making circles. All the, uh, nope, I'm not doing it. And now, why is that one still green? <laughs> eh. Yeah. Yeah. When Dragon I get Ball bored, could've made so much more money just by letting them, like just being like here. But we want money. Just let them do it. But they won't. That's sad. Because I would love to see them just continue it, like all the way into like Super and. Fuck, even maybe GT GT could be hilarious if they were able to do it. I like GT a lot. I don't hate GT. If you watch it as it's not. For so what it was, it was entertaining. Yeah. I will say that, and yes. Anyone what? who said they didn't get hyped when Super Saiyan 4 came out is just fucking bullshit. No, a lot of people love that. Yes. But, yeah. yeah. Man, that's all I got to say on that. <laughs> no, if you if you say you don't like Super Saiyan 4, you're, you're lying. Because every I think everybody liked Super Saiyan 4. But also... That was a drawing done by Akira Toriyama, wasn't it? I don't think he touched that project at all. I think he did. 
I think he made, he was asked to do that, and I think he did, he did design Super Saiyan 4. I could be wrong, maybe, give me a minute and I'll look it up. Continue to discuss why I looked this up, because it's going to take a second. Can't Avery, what do you want to discuss? You've been quiet. Well, 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 well. I'm just uh, looking at the, uh, trying to find more information about the uh, Demon Slayer movie, because I forgot how soon the anime is going to uh, drop the new season. But I'm debating if it's worth going to the theater just to watch the, you know, the first episode. So I was looking up tickets and stuff to see if I actually wanted to go. Nope. So uh, Akira Toriyama did not design Super Saiyan. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think he touched that at all. I thought there was something in it he had, like, to do, but yeah, he didn't. It was... Uh, Kata Suya Kata Sayoshi Nakata Russ. I butchered the hell out of that, but. Yeah, you insulted the hell out of that person. <laughs> <laughs> See, in this, just right here, uh. Another thing I just found, uh counteract what I just said because this says he did design it he drew the design of it still DDAF was oh never mind this is about uh yeah never mind this is about the uh Dragon Ball AF that wasn't a thing but was a thing Sorry to interrupt, Avery. Oh, no, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. Yeah, definitely fine. No worries. I'm just... Man. Animes, animes, animes. There's so much to watch. Have you watched uh, Fearin? What you just, what you just say? Have you watched? Uh, I think it's Byron Beyond Journey's End. Fuck yeah, I watch it. <laughs> I'm up to date with the uh, episode twenty three. All right, describe it a little bit to me. Tell me why I should watch it without spoiling anything. So, uh, okay. You put me in the hot seat. But, uh, so, what it is, uh, Beyond Journey's in Fearing, is from her perspective after her party of heroes defeated the Demon King, and they, uh, and they had peace after all, uh, after the battle, you know, the world was at peace and stuff, and so it goes from um it goes to her perspective to where she comes face to face with humans mortality you know her being a different being she could live a lot longer so she sees how you know short life really is and develops her understanding and appreciation for it i hope i didn't butcher it but it's really good like right now there's 23 episodes out if you like something that's like nice chill laid back with funny moments something to just you know make you just sit back and relax then it's it's one of actually my buddy he actually uh, told me about it because he read all the uh books and uh light novels and stuff 
And he was like, hey, I think you'll like this. So, and I actually started watching it and it started to grow on me. And I'm like, okay, wow. It's, it's, it's very different from, uh, it's very different from typical storytelling when you got a group of party, you know, defeating the Demon King and stuff like that. It, 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 it goes off in a completely different direction. And I say, you know, people who do like the adventure, the fantasy type stories, this is something that, that breathes fresh air into the genre. That's, sounds like it's something I'd be pretty interested in. Mm-hmm. Oh. Something to check it out. It's not anime, but it's like animation. Did you guys hear about the Lord of the Rings animation that's being made? No. There's an so it's an animation of the Rohirrib that's being created. So it's a story about the Rohirrib. Like before Lord of the Rings. It's pretty. It sounds interesting, other than the fact that I didn't want it to be an animation. And you guys are probably not Lord of the Rings fans, so. I just haven't heard of it. I think it's. Pretty positive it's a Netflix thing, but it could be an Amazon thing too. Give me one second, I gotta use the restroom. Use the restroom? Oh, that means uh, Wrath and I can go back into Dragon Ball Z. Oh! (laughs) Now we gotta get to another topic. (laughs) I actually watched the uh, the Tree of Might for the first time, and not the. Uh... I like Dragon Ball Z, man. <laughs> but uh, I actually watched the Tree of Might for the first time, and I honestly didn't care for it. Like it was not great. Have you seen it? Yeah, a very long time ago. I maybe I've maybe seen that one twice. Well. The only time I ever actually I give saw it, I give it, it was... a thumbs up for a different story lo- story. For like a... But that's that that's it. Like it wasn't the same rinse and repeat shit. Yeah, I just I hated I feel like that was like Black Goku before Black Goku <laughs> became a thing. But it was just done terribly. Like all low class stands look like Goku <laughs> like that is the definition of a low class Saiyan but what I meant <laughs> oh, nothing other than me talking about the Cheer Might it's a Dragon Ball Z movie yeah that I had never seen until like now but I watched like a DBZA's like version of it which I love that version but <laughs> I didn't care for the movie. Like, I give it an okay, but that's it. Have you guys looked at uh, models, like, for Gundams? Yeah, you can build them. Why? They're fucking expensive. What are they now? Um, Anywhere from a hundred and fifty to five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. Where are you looking? eBay, Amazon. You said that's not the fucking life size version? No. <laughs> They're not. Like there was one that a buddy of mine found that it was like forty bucks, but like most of them are like one fifty to like yeah, like five, six hundred bucks. I was like, that's insane. Stop looking on eBay and shit, and you might buy it cheaper. Is just the same. And you can find them in hobby shops a hell of a lot cheaper. 
Yeah. Well, 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 about about forty bucks. Forty bucks, fifty bucks actually sounds about right, but that's pretty much any model nowadays. I mean, I'm sure these models that are one hundred and fifty to like four hundred bucks are like are five hundred bucks are they're bigger than what those are, but well, it also still. could be material too. You know, you got you gotta look at that too. Probably, but that's insane. <laughs> I couldn't pay that. I would just to make if it was to put together a model that I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> well, that's because you got no confidence. I got no confidence when they give me stickers for the graphics. <laughs> I always fuck up stickers on that kind of thing. I used to put those together on my little brother all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Because I was wanting some, uh, like some of the Gundam like models, but I'm like, I'm not paying that much. Just to put it together, just and have to yeah, sit there. and collect those. <laughs> like I don't like things sitting and collecting dust, so I usually try to get rid of them. <laughs> That's why uh, BGA ended up with my SNES. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to sit here and collect dust, and I knew he'd like it. Oh yeah, now I'm sitting here collecting dust <laughs> on display. Yeah, but it's in a good home, so. Mm -hmm. Did the uh, any of the pieces ever fall off that? No. Good. Because <laughs> I don't know what type of glue the guy used to put that together, so I don't know if like heat or something's gonna make it like just fall off but you could re-glue it yeah so it's definitely not an SNES you've been playing on <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I guess that's gonna be it for this week ain't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have a uh, animes they wanna? One anime they wanna suggest to everybody? Ooh, it's just the time. The best time. <laughs> it's the best time. Are you sure it's the best time, BGA? Because you're only getting one. <laughs> if we do it for the next uh, hundred <laughs> weeks, then it's a hundred. True. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go with something new and fresh. Something I haven't mentioned before. Interesting. I would give y'all my recommendation of the week, other than what I said before. But this one is uh, Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skill. It's about... Uh, it's about, again, being summoned to another world. Uh, some uh, heroes that got summoned and one guy who is pretty much useless. So they kind of like push him to the side because he's not as important as the other heroes. But what he do have is an insanely insane cooking ability where he can make the most delicious meal and he have uh, online groceries that he can access and and buy the ingredients via online and summon it to him in lifetime like a like a perfect version of Amazon so yeah all, all I gotta say for that BJ is you have some animes with some weird long titles <laughs> oh yeah you know what I, I typically skip over them but ever since the first few um I've been giving it a chance, like, I think reincarnated as a spider, I think some some shit like that. Zombie, I know you were saying something about that even before we did the uh, podcast. Oh, he's not there. I, I am, I just don't freaking remember. Oh, it's called So I'm a Spider, So What? Oh, that's not so bad as some of the 
last two titles that we have heard from you. <laughs> oh, wait till next week when I start talking about reincarnated as a vending machine. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> reincarnated as know, a vending I, machine? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give one real quick? Me? Yes, because I'm, I'm having an issue remembering this damn title, and I don't know why. God. Uh, Sailor Moon. Go watch Sailor Moon. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, go on YouTube and watch... Uh, Tune on me on YouTube. There you go. That's my uh my anime for the week. Watch the re uploads of Toonami. Wow. You just Excellent. put a little effort into it. Alright, I'm going to say oh, what, what, what's wrong with that? Toonami was like a series in itself, man. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna argue why that's wrong. Just no. <laughs> We're gonna skip you. You had nothing good to say. We understand. I absolutely had nothing good to say. <laughs> I am going to say I'm gonna suggest the Fate series. The Fate, Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero. I really thought there was one before Stay Night, but apparently that was the first one. Um <laughs> if you don't know anything on it, um it is in in the modern world certain mages that are selected um can bring forth uh champions from the past um and only one of each category comes comes to comes for this this it's more like a tournament battle royale type deal thing whoever wins gets the uh um Um, Fountain of Youth or whatever. I think it's the Fountain of Youth. I think it's called something else. But pretty much Fountain of Youth. To grant any wish. <clears throat> and these these mages have their champions, Saber, Archer, Lancer, Rider, Assassin. They all fight, kill each other. It, it, it's bloody. Um, especially the first the first one. Um, in the Holy Grail War? The Holy Grail War, thank you. Oh, God. That's what it was, Holy Grail. Oh, shit. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> um, and then, they, you know, Fate Stay Night's the first one. Fate Zero, I do believe, is uh after the Grail War of the of Stay Night. Um... <laughs> I think and it continues it from it continues from that point. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything more, <clears throat> but I definitely recommend them. Um, I haven't watched them all myself yet. Um, it is um, hard to find all of them for me at the moment, but yeah, I definitely recommend those. No. You know what I will say, actually, the both of you. I was given homework last week, and I went beyond my homework to watch Code Geass. You both are getting homework this week. Both of you got to go watch School Rumble. Yeah, gotcha. it's on the list. Nope. Uh, yeah, I got to watch it before the next episode. Got to at least start three episodes. I was given three episodes. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, it's on the list. Nope. Got to watch three episodes before the next episode of this. We, we can do this. We can, we can knock out three episodes and then <laughs> finish it. I don't know how many more times I gotta say it's on the list. Hey, I was given homework last week. You guys get homework this week. <laughs> I guess I gotta use English. It's on the list. It's on the list to be watched. Yeah, well, it's gotta be watched this week. <laughs> leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.